Hey guys, I'm here back for more Oblivion Lost Spires. Uh, where was I? Oh crap. I think I may have forgotten to save. Is it? I hope I remembered. This should be it. <coughs> but let's see. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just finished cleaning out the vampires, and now I'm going to. <coughs> um, and now I'm going back to talk to the foreman guy, see what he has to say. Hopefully he'll do it, and I can move on. It's a very long loading screen, probably because I haven't played this in a while. Uh, I guess that I'll dead. I guess it's good. Uh, let's see. Is it this way? I think there's only one way, actually, but. Uh, yeah, I guess so. So, get back to the uh, foreman guy. We can find out how to jump over stuff. Get back to the foreman guy and let you just listen to him. What? You've killed the vampires? Well, all of them? Let me see your neck. You, you, you look safe. But did you find Styx or Darius? Show some respect for God's sakes! Those were two of my best! But at least they died human! Anyways, thanks. You have done far more than I expected. Uh, he'll be fine. We'll get him to the nearest chapel tonight. Now, I believe I owe you a favor, sir. All right. I suppose we owe you that much, at least. After we heal up, I'll get the men working on it. Check back in a week or so. It'll take us that long, at least. Better yet, I'll send word to the Archaeology Guild when it's complete. All right. All right. Uh, yeah. go back and tell them, I guess. Let's see. No, uh... Yeah, I gotta go back to the Archaeology Guild and check if Teeves back, I think it said. Alright. Do uh I'm gonna go um discover that quick so I can uh fast travel to it when I want to. Cause I know there's another spire near here, so it'll just be easier. If I can even get up there. All right, there. Back to the archaeology guild. Oh, didn't think I could do it. Thought there'd be enemies nearby. It's kind of nice, though.
Alright. Let's see. I guess I'll go back to the right or guy if T is not there, but he should be back. Increases your luck by 20, so it's pretty nice, I guess. If you just want to carry it around, not quite sure if it's heavy or not. Oh uh, yeah, it's pretty light, so I guess it's kind of worth it to get just to carry it around. You get the uh, bonus. So as I do. All right. I think that's the uh, guy over there. In four, sir. I'm glad you're here. I just opened this keg of meat. I brewed it myself. Here, take a tanker. What? Don't drink it yet. We need a toss. Hmm, let's see. You know, looking at you reminds me of a story for just such an occasion. Good, good. It goes like this. Once there was a man, but he was always depressed. One day a fellow asked him, Sir, why this displeasure with life? The man replied, I have the desire to buy a house, but not the means. I have the means to buy a horse, but not the desire. And so I toast you, Enforcer. May your means and desires always go inside. Cheers! What's that? Let me see it closer. 
Now this is intriguing. No, I've never seen anything like it. Although, stylistically, it's similar to these glyphs I've been studying from the spire. Ever since we found that spire ruin, I've been captivated by its luminescent glyphs. I started cataloging them. Twenty-three glyphs I've cataloged so far, but their meaning still has me baffled. I'm no closer to deciphering them now than when I started. No thanks to Rathma. Don't get me started on him. He runs a bookstore in Bravil. Rathma's books. He recently acquired a unique book. Its title is written in ancient Iliad, translating roughly as Runes of Cyrodiil. He got me all excited about buying it, but then he say it's not for sale. At least not to me, or for such a low price. That shyster won top price, so he's going to auction it off to some wealthy collectors. That book contains transcripts of many long lost runes and glyphs. It may even mention this glyph you show me here. Anyways, after pleading with Rathmer to sell me the book, the best I could do was convince him to sell me a copy. It's been a few weeks now, and I haven't heard from him. Simply put, this book is crucial to my research. It could unravel not only our current dead end, but many others before it. How about doing me a favor? Check up on Rathmer for me. See if he had the transcript completed. Here, take this cash. You'll need it. Rathmer's store is located in Bravil. Alright. Very well. Uh, ooh, free money. And he gave me some kind of... Yeah. He, gave, he gives you a... Uh, Unique drinky thing. Not very useful though. And uh, Brazil? Yeah. Let's travel there. <coughs> oh. There it is. It's kind of out of a place to put it. But, okay. Let's see. Welcome, welcome. Do you see anything you like? I see. Then you've come for the book. Oh, everybody's impatient. I'll tell you what I told the others. The transcript is not yet ready. Come back later. You're not the first to come by here. I have several interested buyers for this exquisite tome. And, well, quite frankly, Varus's offer doesn't even come close to top bid. Luckily for him, he's interested in the subject matter more than the book itself. So, he settled for a transcript. This, however, has made the collectors somewhat impatient, as they wanted me to auction it immediately. I'm starting to regret not having done so, as I'm being hounded by everyone. Tell Ferus to be patient. I can't sell it to him until Miro completes the copy. Rhea Miro, that is. She's a professional scribe. I gave her the runes of Cyrodiil to transcribe. Now that you mention it, she did say it would only take a few days to complete the work. If you truly want to speed things along, go see Miro in Leowen. Ask her what's taking so long, then return to me. Details about my customers are strictly confidential. 
Needless to say, a book of this rarity attracts attention. All right. Well, we're gonna end the video. He gonna end the video here. So, thanks for watching. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks. Bye.